Okay, for this video, I'm looking at CTF Learn's basic injection problem. Uh, this is pretty, you know, pretty straightforward problem since the description tells us we need to use SQL injection. It took me a bit to figure out uh, the exact query request to use in order to return all of the data from the SQL table. But once I figured that out, it uh, was pretty straightforward and, you know, it seemed pretty simple. So upon initially, uh, upon opening the link for the problem, I uh, inspected the page, and upon doing that, uh, this comment in the HTML document called my eye tells us to just try a few different values as the input here. So the first one uh, I tried, obviously, was Hiroki. I returned nothing. Then I tried Noah. You know, nothing to return from that as well. And then I tried Luke. As you can see, when Luke submitted into the input, um, the data associated with the value Luke is returned. And in this case, it's just a string that says, I made this problem. Uh, you know, what's happening here is that Luke is submitted as a query request to the table. And since Luke is in the table, uh, it's conditionally true, and the data associated with Luke will be returned. So if we put a value in the input that is always conditionally true and submit that as a query request to the SQL table, we should be able to return all values associated with the condition true. And in that case, it'd be all the data in the table. And from that, we can find the flag. So uh, if we try, you know, the input one or one, yeah, one or one, and submit that, all of the data from the table is returned since the query request uh, basically is saying that one equals one, which is always true. Um, and that means, and, you know, in this case, all the data was returned because of that. So, you know, the flags right here. Um, and now let's go try that flag on the problem itself, on the problems page. All right, and let's submit it. And the problem is solved.